Harry's causing trouble, huh? Nothing ever changes, does it? But this was 600 years ago, and the first Harry at Shrewsbury was Henry IV, Henry Bolingbroke, who was the king. He was the son of John of Gaunt and the grandson of Edward III. So he'd come along and he'd taken the throne from the useless Richard II, and he had him in a castle. He was busy starving him to death. Now, he had fought with those loyal to Richard II, but he'd also fought with the Welsh and he'd fought with the Scots. And through it all, he had the loyal support of a family of nobles from the north called the Percys. In exchange for that support, he had promised them land and riches, the wealth associated with releasing prisoners for ransom, that sort of thing. But it never materialised and that pissed off the Percys. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to piss off somebody from Newcastle. Anyway, the Percys, they decided with chief antagonist uh, Henry Percy, uh, also known as Harry Hotspur, they decided to go and take on Henry IV. So they went south and the two armies met at Shrewsbury in 1403. Now initially they parleyed and Harry Hotspur was like, hmm, maybe we should listen to King Henry IV. And his uncle, Thomas, was like, nah, we're fighting. So swords came out. And they started to fight. At one point, Harry Hotspur decided to go after the king. And the story goes that he lifted his visor, presumably so that he could get a closer look at the arrow that came down and burst his eyeball and split his brain open. So Harry Hotspur was dead at the Battle of Shrewsbury. He was buried nearby at Whitchurch, but there were rumours that he wasn't dead and the king did not want that. So he dug up the body, he salted it, he put it on display and then he had it chopped up and sent to various places. The head was sent to the gates of York to look north towards the, the Percy lands. After a while, when it started to turn green and the skin started to slough off and, and it presumably stank, they boxed it up and sent it back to his wife. So that must have been nice for her. There was another Henry at the Battle of Shrewsbury. This was the young son of the king, 16 year old Hal, who also took an arrow in the face. This one missed his eye, but it went through his maxilla there and was embedded deep. It was a great story. Um, it did get it out and he survived and he went on to become our hero, Henry V, once more onto the breach, dear friends. I think our friends at Annick Castle might have more to say about the Percy's, Harry Hotspur, but those are the three. Those are the three Henrys I'd talk about at the Battle of Shrewsbury. <laughs>